Hi, I'm Rod. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to start listening to Bad Religion's debut album, um, How Can Hell Be Any Worse? Um, I'm going to be listening to uh, three songs today. First, We're Only Gonna Die. Then, um, Let's Key Kids. And finally, part three. So this is we're only going we're only gonna die. It's the opening track on the album. So that was, we're only going to die. Um, Bad Religion are one of my favourite uh, punk bands. It's a bit about them. Bad Religion is an American punk rock band formed in Los Angeles, California in 1980. The band's lyrics cover topics related to religion, politics, society, the media and science. Musically, they are noted for their melodic sensibilities, extensive use of three-part vocal harmonies. The band has experienced multiple lineup changes with singer Greg Graffin being the band's only constant member Though fellow founding members Jay Bentley and Brett Gurewitz have often been uh, with the band for most of their history, while guitarist Brian Baker has been a member of the group since 1994. Guitarist Mike Dimkich and drummer Jamie Miller have been members of the band since 2013 and 2015 respectively. To date, Bad Religion has released 17 studio albums, two live albums, three compilation albums, three EPs and two live DVDs. They are considered to be one of the best-selling punk rock acts of all time selling over 5 million albums worldwide. Um, yeah, so I'll get into uh, the second song which is Latch 
Okay, kids. And we go. So that was Let's Key Kids. So a bit about the album. How Could Hell Be Any Worse is the debut studio album by American punk rock band Bad Religion, released on January 19, 1982 by Epitaph Records. Released almost a year after the self-titled EP. It was financed from the sale of the self-titled EP and partly by a $1,000 loan um, by guitarist Brett Gerowitz's father. Its, its success surprised the band when it sold 10,000 copies in under a year. And on the album that was Greg Graffin on vocals and piano, Brett Gorowitz guitars, Jay Bentley bass, Pete Feinstone uh, drums on tracks 1, 3, 4, 6, 7 and 13 and Jay Ziskraut on drums for tracks 2, 5, 8 to 12 and 14 um, and Greg Hudson uh, played the guitar solo on part three, um, which we'll listen to now. These are all um, short songs, um, so I'm just going to do th three of them in the one video. So here's part three. <laughs> I don't want to 
and that was part three. Um, there's a lot to like about bad religion. Um, that melodies, the harmonies, the lyrics, um, and I'm really liking uh, Jay Bentley's bass on this album. Um, on the three songs that oh, we've listened to today. So going back to uh, We're Only Going to Die, it was written by Greg Graffin. Um, uh, it's often referred to as Gonna Die. In the liner notes, um, to How Could Hell Be Any Worse, the album lists the title as We're Only Gonna Die From Our Own Arrogance. Uh, Graffin occasionally introduced the song with its complete title. The band also called the song Modern Man before the release of their 1990 album Against the Grain, which contained a track by that name. Um, more than you know, 30 years after its release, We're Only Gonna Die is still a fan favourite uh, and remains one of the band's concert staples. Um, and talks about um, you know, I guess the uh, Uh, how our own arrogance is um, going to destroy us in the end. I think there's a, a kind of a cautionary tale about um, not going in too fast into new technologies and things. In the uh, second song was Latch Key Kids, which is track two on the album. It was also written by Greg Graffin, and it's pretty much a song about a teenage dissatisfaction and boredom. I guess that's typical teenage life. Um, the whole Latch Key Kids thing, people like to use that as an excuse for drug and abuse and other things, but I'm not sure that I'd buy into that whole thing. And then part three, uh, I was, the third track we listened to was part three. That's the title, part three. Um, it was, I believe, written by Jay Bentley. Um, and it had a nice guitar solo uh, by Greg Hetson. Um, I'm not sure if he was playing in the Circle Jerks at this time. Um, he wasn't a member of Bad Religion. He must have been invited in to do a guitar solo for the song. Um, and that song is pretty much a or at least what I take out of it is about um, a, a war to end all wars, um, a war in which we'll end up um, ending the human species. Uh, it's a cautionary tale. Um, so, um, yeah, bad religion of. Uh, as I mentioned before, they one of my favourite punk bands, and that's because of their melodies, um, their harmonies, and their lyrics. I, I just think they're one of the most interesting punk bands that there has been. 
Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did and you would like to support the channel, the best way you can do that is by liking, subscribing and commenting. It all helps and I hope to see you in another video soon. Thanks for watching.